Many air forces around the world are currently getting a modern fleet of combat aircraft. As for Russia, many combat aircraft are being developed especially for the need of the Russian Air Force. They have acquired large numbers of new combat aircraft, be it UCAVs, transport aircraft, interceptors, trainers, bombers and many more in order to transform into a fully advanced network-centric force capable of sustained multi-role operations along the entire spectrum. So here's a list for the future aircraft of Russia. So, firstly, we have the Tupol FPAKDA, which is the next generation stealth strategic bomber being developed by Tupolev for the Russian Air Force. The PAKDA is set to complement and eventually replace the older Tupol FTU 95 in Russia's Air Force service. Technical parameters of the PAKDA include subsonic speed, 12,000 km operational range, and a capability to continuously remain in the air for up to 30 hours while carrying both conventional and nuclear payloads up to 30 tons. Up next is the Tupolev Tu-160M2, which is a long-range supersonic strategic bomber which is in development for the Russian Air Force. Russia unveiled its new Tu-160M2 Blackjack long-range super bomber recently, which is an upgraded version of the Tu-160M. The M2s will reportedly have a new NK-3202 series engine, also known as the NK-32 Tier 2. In addition to that, Russian officials say that the aircraft will have more advanced avionics compared to the Tu-160M. Up next, we have the Yakovlev Yak-152, which is a Russian primary trainer aircraft from the Yakovlev Design Bureau, part of the Irkut Corporation. Four prototypes have been built so far and the prototype first flew on 29 September 2016, powered by a red AO3 diesel engine rated at 500 shaft horsepower. The aircraft has been ordered by the Russian Air Force to replace its current Yakovlev Yak-52 trainers. Next is the Mikoyan MiG-41 or PAKDP, which is a stealth interceptor aircraft or heavy fighter under development by Mikoyan. The aircraft is intended to replace the Mikoyan MiG-31 in the Russian Air Force in mid-2020s. According to the Russian defense analyst Vasily Kashin, the MiG-41 would be considered as a 5++ or 6th generation project. The MiG-41 is envisioned to become an interceptor or hypersonic missiles by carrying a multifunctional long-range interceptor missile system. Up next, we have the Ilyushin Il-112V, which is a twin-engine light military transport aircraft being developed for the Russian Air Force by JSC Ilyushin Aviation Complex, a part of JSC United Aircraft Corporation. They are mainly used for transportation and airdropping of military personnel, light weapons and equipments, vehicles and a variety of cargo. It is set to replace the AN-26 or AN-72, a 74 twin-engine transport aircraft. Next on the list is the Mikoyan LMFS, which is a proposed light single-seat, all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft loosely based on the cancelled Mikoyan Project 1.44. It is designed to replace the Mikoyan MiG-29 and MiG-35 and support the Sukhoi Su-57 in combat. The light fighter is believed to incorporate an 11-ton thrust engine based on the RG-33 MK-35 engine used by the MiG-35. The aircraft could have cannon wings, internal weapon base, and is supposed to have a maximum speed of Mach 2 at high altitude. Up next, we have the Sukhoi S-70 Akotnik B, which is a stealthy, heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle being developed by Sukhoi and Russian Aircraft Corporation MiG as a sixth-generation aircraft project. The Akotnik's design is based on the flying wing scheme and incorporates use of composite materials and stealth coatings, making the drone low observable in flight. The Akotnik B is based on the earlier Mikoyan SCAD designed by MiG and encompassing some technologies of the fifth generation Sukhoi Su 57 fighter jet. Next, we have the Brief A 100, which is a Russian built airborne early warning and control aircraft based on the Il 76 MD 90A transport aircraft. This aircraft is developed to replace the Bereave A-50 in Russian Air Force service. Avionics and configuration will be similar to the A-50U but with the new Vega Premier Active Phase Array radar. This aircraft can detect aerial targets more than 370 miles away and warships nearly 250 miles away. 
Next on the list is the Orion drone, which is a medium altitude, long endurance drone with a maximum takeoff weight of 1 ton and a maximum payload of 200 kilograms. Orion can carry four guided bombs or four missiles and it can carry a radar or a photo survey unit as well as reconnaissance and electronic warfare means. The speed of this drone is up to 200 km per hour. Next is the Ilyushin Il-106 PAK-VTA, which is a Russian next-generation heavy military transport aircraft currently under development by Ilyushin within the PAK-VTA program. This aircraft is intended to replace the Antonov AN-22 and Antonov AN-124 heavy airlifter in Russia's Air Force service. The goal of this project is to develop a blended wing body, super heavy transport plane being able to fly at supersonic speed while carrying up to 200 tons of cargo and partially using renewable electric energy. Up next is the Kamov KF-52M combat helicopter which has made its debut flight recently. This is Russia's upgraded version of the KA-52 combat helicopter of the Russian Air Force. The KA-52M main rotor blades are equipped with a more powerful hearing element which would allow the helicopter to operate over an entire range of temperatures. The KA-52M's missile armament has been standardized and upgraded and considerably increased the range of striking targets. Next is the Ilyushin Il-276, which is a medium airlift military transport aircraft initially planned by the United Aircraft Corporation of Russia. It is designed to perform regular transport duties and also to deploy paratroopers. The aircraft is expected to be powered by Russian-made Aviadvigadl PD-14M turbofan engines attached to top-mounted wings and will have a T-shaped tail. The aircraft's maximum range is expected to be 2,500 km and its top speed will be around 870 km per hour. Next, we have the Mikoyan Scat, which is a concept of a stealth unmanned combat aerial vehicle being developed by Mikoyan since 2005. The development of Scat was discontinued before, but in September 2018, it was reported that the MiG has revived the program and that works on the Mikoyan Scat UCAV are currently underway. The SCAT is a low-observable subsonic UCAV which is intended to carry a combat load of up to 2 tons with a combat radius of 2,000 km. Next on the list is the Sukhoi Su-57 which is a stealth single-seat twin-engine multi-role fifth-generation jet fighter being developed since 2002 for air superiority and attack operations. The Su-57 is planned to be the first aircraft in Russian military service to use stealth technology. Its maiden flight took place on 29 January 2010 and the first production aircraft are planned to be delivered in 2020. The fighter is designed to have super crew, super maneuverability, stealth and advanced avionics to overcome the prior generation fighter aircraft as well as ground and naval defenses. And last but not the least, we have the Ilyushin Il-78 MD-90A, which is a modernized air tanker developed on the basis of Il-76 MD-90A. It will be the first aircraft of its kind produced in modern Russia. The latest modification of the well-known airlifter has new equipment, including a glass cockpit, four modern PS-98-76 engines, a modified wing, and the reinforced chassis. That, guys, was the list of the future aircraft of Russia. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos like this.